Hello everybody, Richard here, welcome back to the channel. And today's quick video is all about how you can apply your exposure from one image that you've taken across a batch of images with just a couple of clicks. Okay, hi, so this is a real quick tutorial. Let's say you've got one image that is exposed brilliantly and for whatever reason out in the field, you made some camera adjustments and the other, the other pictures in the same area or of the same subject, and not quite as well exposed as the first one. It is an easy way to match them all up in Lightroom with a few clicks. Uh, and we're gonna show that now. There are a couple of things that you should stick around for at the end because it's not always as straightforward. There are reasons as to why this will work on some images and not others. But let's start in with a simple bit first about how you do it and what it looks like. Right, we are now in Lightroom and you can see here five photos that I've taken, the exact same photo, just with five slightly different exposures. And the first one is the one that I've set up to be uh, average exposure. These are all unedited raw files, by the way. Um, and you can see here that it is at ISO 800, 20th of a second, F5 ISO 800. The next one, still 20th of a second, still F5, but I've dropped the ISO to 400 to make it darker. The next one's the same, but been dropped to 200 to make it darker still. And the fourth one is 1600, so that's twice as high as the first image that I took. And the final one is 4000 to make it obviously overexposed. So real quick way, if you wanna get all five images to match the first one, that is a real simple job. Make sure that the one that you want to be your master is the first one that you click on. It may be the first one in the list. You may want them all to look like this. But for this example, we are going for the first image. Hold down Command or Control on your keyboard and then click on the other images that you want to match. Once that's done, we are still in the library module, don't forget. So we are gonna go into Photo, come down to Develop Settings, and down to the bottom, match total exposure. And as soon as I click on this, keep an eye on all those photos because you will see them all become exposed pretty much identically, we hope. Three, two, one, click. Bang, there we go. One, two, three, four, five photos. They are now all matched perfectly. And then you can carry on and do any edits that you'd want to do to these photos. Simple, isn't it? Um, there are a couple of things though that I need to point out. That will only work if there is a difference in the settings on the camera. So if you're shooting in manual, for example, and you've got your aperture ISO and um, shutter speed the same, and the sun comes in and out, it won't work. And I'm gonna show you an example of that now, and I'm gonna explain a little bit detail why it won't happen. So we're gonna go back to Lightroom. So back into the computer. So back into Lightroom, these are five totally different images. Um, it's the same setup, but what I've done here, I have left the camera settings the same. So if you have a look as I scroll through these five photos, 1 20th of a second F5 ISO 500, 1 20th of a second F5 ISO 500, same with this one, same with this one, same with this one. Basically what I've done is, this is um, set up in the office and I have on this one lights, and a blind, okay? Lights at a certain level, the blinds open. On this image, uh, I can't remember exactly, but I think I just close the blinds. This one, I also turn the light off. This one, I turn the light, open the blinds and turn the lights up a bit. And this one, I whack the lights up full. So that is exactly the same camera settings, but the lighting in the room has changed. Let's go back to view them all and let's do the same again. We're gonna click on the first one, which I wanna balance. I'm gonna click on all of them. We're gonna come up here and we are gonna do photo, develop settings, match total exposure, exactly the same as what we did a second ago. But you watch the photos this time because there's nothing to see, nothing will happen. Okay, so they are still, Lightroom's done what it thinks it has to do but it's made no difference at all to the photographs. And the reason for that is there is no difference in the camera settings, okay? We are gonna real, real quickly click back to the ones that we did mess around with. Um, and Lightroom knows there's a difference because the ISO was different, that it's compensated for the ISO. 
So we've got this one at ISO 800 and we have got uh, this one at ISO 400. So that is one stop of exposure that is different. It's gone from 800 down to 400. And what Lightroom has done, it will just adjust the exposure, exposure slider to compensate for that difference in ISO, if that makes sense. So the first image was 800 ISO. The second image was 400 ISO, which is one stop. So when we click on the second image, we will see the exposure go up by one stop. There we go. Okay, if we click on the next one, which then went down to, I think, 200 ISO, that's two stops. The exposure has compensated by two stops. And if we go to the one that was too bright by, what did it go? It gone from 800 to 1600, so that is one stop again. It has gone, it's taken it down by one stop because if we were, if you remember, that was at, that was brighter. So it's had to un take the exposure down to adjust for the difference in 1600 to 800. And the last one is a bit of a different number because it's not exactly um, three stops, it's, it's three and a bit. So that's done an adjustment by 2.32. So there we go. Simple as that, really easy. If you've got a set of pictures with slightly different exposures, slightly different camera settings, you can click on one, click on the fake, click on your best one, click on the rest that are slightly under or overexposed, hit that match total exposure button, and they'll all sync up, adjusting the exposure slider accordingly to give them perfect exposure. There we are. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and they will get better, I promise. Um, and until then, see you next time. Bye for now.